Okay, I get it. You want me to build an airplane. Hey guys, Uncle Nightshift here. So, it seems you've been asking for a video about shell impacts on armor models. And I'm sorry it took longer than I wanted, but it's finally here. I've been using several techniques in the past. Soldering iron, dremel tool and epoxy putty, but those were quite complicated and all of them required at least one specialized tool. But I wanted to make a video about a simple technique that would require only basic stuff everyone has. And turns out I did something like that on this model. And also on this one, though I've put it aside like two days later, but anyway. So the first example will be this Tiger 1 gun mantlet. We'll start with a few very basic everyday impacts. Marking their location with a pencil is a very important step. It doesn't matter if you're following a real life reference picture or you are using your own imagination. Using a pencil allows you to change their placement or amount without damaging the model. Then you need to punch their centers with a sharp object, like a needle or something. This is just to make sure the drill won't bounce all over the surface. When using large drill bits, it's often better to start with a smaller one. Those punctures we made just a moment ago would be too small for a large diameter drill. Just make sure you don't go too deep. About 1 mm is more than enough. Now it's time to select the correct diameter. This technique is pretty cool because you can choose the correct size depending on the caliber of the gun that created the impact crater. All you need is to make very shallow holes, so check your progress every now and then before you go too deep. As you can see we're creating impacts from shells coming under a 90 degree angle, which means they'll be pretty much perfect circles without any distortion. And to make it a little more interesting, this impact will be slightly smaller. Okay, so this is a pretty decent start, but before we continue, let's remove this bolt. This is just to show you how shell damage can affect the surrounding details. Studying real life examples will help you get some inspiration, but most of the time, if there's a shell impact, the surrounding surface details will be damaged or completely blown off. Before we get to the main event, I also like to clean the impacts with Mr. Cement S, just to get rid of any dust or pieces of plastic from the drilling process. For this next step you'll need some kind of basic modeling putty and no, it doesn't need to be Tamiya, any brand will work. So the point of this is to fill those craters with small amount of putty. It's important to use just a small amount, but if you'll be trying this for the first time, then it might take you a while before you get used to it. So for this purpose, I'll use slightly more just to show you what will happen and how to fix it. Once you're done, leave the putty dry for about 2 or 3 minutes and in the meantime, grab some brushes. Their size isn't important because what we need is the opposite side. These will be our fake AP shells, which we'll use to sculpt the ridge of the impact crater. Because we left the putty dry for a while, it's not sticky anymore and it had formed this thin crust. You just need to push the brush handle against the putty, which will push it out and create the ridge. Now, the problem with too much putty is that the ridges will be very thick, out of scale and not realistic. But there's an easy fix. Right after you're done sculpting, take a hobby blade and scrape some of the excess putty away. This should be super easy because the putty is still soft. Then you can go back and play with the brush a little more until you're happy with the result. The more you work with the drying putty, the more brittle it will become, creating realistic jagged edges and rough textures, which is a common thing on real impacts. You can also use liquid cement to gently clean up the surrounding surface and to create a smooth transition between the impact crater and the armor plate. Finally, take a sharp blade and make a few scuffs in the armor to simulate shrapnel damage. 
clean it once again with cement and you're done. Let's now simulate a penetrating impact. Just like before, start by drilling out the hole, but this time you'll obviously have to go all the way through. If you wanna be extra realistic, then you can make the armor plate thicker or thinner, depending on the tank. Just like I did on this Tiger 1 turret side. Again, clean it up with liquid cement. Fill with modeling putty and let it dry for a few minutes. And then punch straight through the putty with a brush handle. This clip is a little blurry and I'm very sorry for that, but the technique is identical to what I've shown you on the Tiger Gun mantlet. So punch through the putty, then remove the excess with the hobby blade. And sculpt again until it looks just right. Then do some final touch-ups with the blade and liquid cement. And you're done. Our last example will be an angled impact. This again starts by drilling out a shallow hole, but in this case the shell came under a smaller angle, like this. Not under a 90 degree angle like this, but again like this. So we need to adjust the shape of the impact. It needs to have this teardrop shape, which we can easily achieve with the hobby blade. Clean it up with liquid cement. Fill with putty and let it dry for a few minutes. Push it out with a brush handle. Remove the excess with a hobby blade. And repeat as much as you need until you're satisfied with the result. Then just blend the edges with liquid cement and you're done. So it's just a few basic techniques and the results are pretty decent if I do say so myself. So I hope you found this video helpful or at least interesting to watch and if you did please let me know by giving it a like and leaving a comment. And if you're new here then make sure to subscribe because I have more content like this coming your way as we speak. And if you'd like to get even more content, extra tips, behind the scenes and other interesting stuff, then consider checking out my Patreon page and joining all of these guys. And hey, your name might be featured in the end credits of the next video, so yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching, I'll see you mates in the next one, and here are some bloopers. You just need to push the brush <laughs> and then punch straight through the... <laughs> And then punch through. You can also use liquid cement to gently clean up the... <laughs> Studying real life... <laughs> this, is just, this is just to show you how... This is how... To, this is... <laughs>